of Shannon in a lofty mansion her father he gathered great stores of gold with many and noble he tried to meet her but all his counsel it was all as one for with all the folly and belongs to nature she hung placed her heart on the young servant man. As these two lovers were fondly talking, her father he saw them and near them drew. And when he found out what they were discoursing, in anger homewards, he quickly flew. For to build a dungeon was his intention. For to part two lovers, he contrived a plan. And he swore an oath by all that's high and holy that he part his daughter and the young servant. Man. He built a dungeon of bricks and mortar, a flight of steps in foot underground, and the food he brought her was bread and water, no other comfort for her was found, and every day he would sorely beat her until this young maiden then at length began saying father father won't you relent now and let me marry my young servant man when then word found out her competition it was secured by an iron door and he swore an oath before all the nation that he'd free his treasure or rest no more. Then at his leisure he tied with pleasure for to gain the freedom of his Miriam. And when at length he had gained his treasure, she says, My faithful young servant man. When then would he have gained his treasure, he said, I'll be constant to you likewise. And in spite of all, I will face your father to find me here, it will him surprise. When her father brought her the bread and water for to call his daughter, then he thus began, saying, then would enter. I freed your daughter, put all the fault on your young serving man. And the father found out that she had vanished. It's like a lion, he then did roar, saying, From old Ireland you will be banished. And with my sword, I'll draw your gold. A green said, Edward, I freed your daughter. I'm glad I did it. Now do all you can. But forgive your treasure, and I'll die with pleasure. Put all the fault 